Ask somebody what it means to be green, and they probably will tell you recycling. While recycling is good for the environment, it's not as good as reducing and reusing. Reducing and reusing actually has a much greater impact on the environment. I'm your host, Robert Montoya, and today on Extreme Green Magazine, we'll be talking about the importance of reducing and reusing. America is a wasteful society, and so we have a lot of things to recycle. Just look at how much trash you generate when you unpack your groceries from the grocery store. Because of all this waste, there is an overemphasis on recycling. Unfortunately, this overemphasis on recycling has caused most Americans to lose awareness of reduce and reuse. The three R's of environmental sustainability are reduce, reuse, and then recycle, and in that order. Take those plastic water bottles which people are so careful to recycle. It actually, in many cases, requires more energy to recycle these bottles than it does to simply make one from scratch. Therefore, you need to be careful about your choices when it comes to recycling. A better solution would be to get a plastic water bottle that you can actually refill and never throw away. That would take the plastic completely out of the waste stream. The striking thing is that cost-effective recycling is more the exception than the rule which raises some important questions. Why then are we putting such an emphasis on recycling and completely ignoring reducing and reusing of things? Green building also overemphasizes low priority eco solutions like recycling. In fact, most assessments assume that the home itself is disposable and will need to be recycled. The possibility of a home lasting forever and not need to be recycled is not even considered as a possibility. The longevity of a home is almost completely absent from most green building assessments. Wood frame homes rarely last more than 100 years and yet continue to be the most common type of construction in the United States and Canada. After less than a century, wood frame homes are demolished, which takes energy, hauled to the landfill, which takes energy and space, only to be replaced with yet another wood frame home. In contrast, Concrete homes can last a thousand years or more. Insulated concrete construction is the ultimate reduce and reuse technology since these homes get reused for centuries and utilize less energy for that entire duration of time. The ancient Romans had built buildings out of concrete 2,000 years ago and many of these structures are still standing today. So it's reasonable to assume that our buildings built with concrete today could last a thousand years or more. The benefits of insulated concrete form construction are staggering. Insulated concrete form construction has proven to withstand tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes. They have up to a four hour fire rating. They're resistant to termites, roaches and rodents. They use about half the energy for heating and cooling as a wood frame home. They're allergen resistant. Insurance premiums are lower. You actually save 47 trees by building with insulated concrete. There's simply no better way to build a home. This pastor's solar home is built completely with concrete and steel so it will last for a thousand years or more. The cost of insulated concrete form construction is 2 to 10 percent higher than wood frame construction, but this cost is usually recovered in energy savings over the first 10 years of living in the house. In addition, in communities like Santa Fe where 2,000 plus buildings have been built with insulated concrete forms, these homes appraise up to 25 percent higher than wood frame construction. So it is an economical as well as an environmental solution. While these daily ecological decisions like what type of water bottle to drink out of are important, the very biggest ecological decision you make is the house you live in. From disposable water bottles to the paper and plastic dilemma at the grocery store, it's important that we try to find ways to completely eliminate waste from our waste stream. Look for opportunities to do that in every area of your life and you'll find some new, exciting ways to save the planet. For Extreme Green Magazine, I'm Robert Montoya.